this patient got shortness of breath and dry coughing for long duration. If they present this patient to you as a short cases, general inspection of this patient with shortness of breath and dry coughing, what's abnormality? Abnormality in the hand first, you see, it is centrally cyanosis. Sorry, this is peripheral cyanosis, but we know that this patient got central cyanosis too. It is hot. There is cyanosis, bilateral, and concentrate on the finger here now. And there is a drumstick clubbing. Okay. Cyanosis. This peripheral cyanosis associated with central cyanosis. Yes centrally cyanosis. Therefore, most probable cause of this patient's shortness of breath is respiratory. Clubbing and cyanosis. Causes of clubbing and cyanosis of, of by single disease are five only. Two respiratory, two cardiac, and liver with, with shunt in subblura in the lung. The respiratory causes of clubbing and cyanosis at the same time are two widespread bronchiectasis and fibrosin alveolitis. And because his coughing is dry without sebutum, therefore the causes is what fibrosin alveolitis. This patient got fibrosis in the lung, idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis in the lung. He is nearly 60 with shortness of breath for two, three years and dry coughing. The other causes of clubbing and cyanosis is the cardiac cause. Two causes in the cardiac system causing clubbing and cyanosis. At the same time, it is subacute bacterial endocarditis and cyanotic congenital heart disease. And this clubbing actually is a third stage drumstick clubbing. The, the other causes of clubbing and cyanosis as a single disease is what is a liver failure with the shunt in the subpleura. Therefore, this patient got what? Respiratory cause of, of clubbing and cyanosis. Uh, and it is actually idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. Now, probably the examiner will ask you, you ask the patient a few questions to know which, which, and, and, what's, and what, what's wrong? Yes, there are important questions in any case of fibrosis alveolitis. First of all, the age of the patient age of the patient 60 70 and more it go with idiopathic type of pulmonary fibrosis which is more dangerous than even malignancy because the the prognosis is bad is going on we don't know the cause and most of the patient they end after two or three years this is one at the age of the patient important young age patient with fibrosis alveolitis it might be due to cause secondary, not idiopathic, and might be congenital form of cyanosis. The second question, uh, we said the age of the patient, occupation of the patient, some occupation, they do get fibrosis in the lung. Those uh, actually uh, working with, with dusty environment, uh, those uh, they they uh, they use some substance which is represented in the lung as silicosis, etc. You get fibrosis of the lung also. The third question: any family history to exclude the congenital cause of fibrosis alveolitis? The fourth question: we asking about arthritis. Do you get arthritis in your hand, in your big? big joint, 
arthritis that's go with connective tissue disease like rheumatoid arthritis sle all these nearly 50 percent of these patients do get pulmonary fibrosis either due to disease or due to drug they use it the we said the age of the patient the work of the patient family history of the patient and he got arthritis or not the fifth question is a drug history of a drug all cytotoxic drug nearly all cytotoxic drug can cause fibros and alveolitis we have two or three of the cardiac drug causing fibros and alveolitis the most important one is amidoron it go and amidoron it, it causing fibros and alveolitis which is more dangerous because if you stop amidoron, fibros and alveolitis is go on. Usually drug induced fibros and alveolitis, if you stop the offender drug, they usually stop at that that site, at that stage. Therefore, age of the patient important, uh, job of the patient important. Well, uh, if he got uh, if he got arthritis important, the drug history important, and the last question is hobbies. What's what's he doing after work? Is he bird fancier? Then we ask the patient. Then the doctor. No. 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 He got he got small bird in his house. And when I ask him to to let him free, he let that bird free after he that bird causing fibros and alveolitis. Okay, that's fibros and alveolitis or idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, or probably due to bird, which is secondary. Clinically, you find clubbing and cyanosis, central cyanosis. On the back of the patient, if you put a stethoscope, you will find the fine crepitation. While in widespread bronchiectasis, you will find what causes crepitation. Fine crepitation is just like you squeezing, squeezing, squeezing your hair in front of your ear. That's crepitation, fine crepitation. While cause crepitation is is end in inspiratory and expiratory diminished crepitation diminished or lost during coughing or after coughing while fine crepitation it doesn't change with coughing if the patient if the examiner asks you to examine the abdomen of a case of fibrosis and alveolitis you should look for ergonomically liver and spleen and paraortic lymph node because sarcoidosis can cause fibrosis in the lung stage three and stage four fibrosis in the lung and this sarcoidosis causes organomegaly in the abdomen this is all about short case of fibrosis and alveolitis in the lung thank you